If there's any silver lining of 2021, it is COVID-19 receding back from its worldwide aggressions and consumer confidence slowly coming back. But the dash of hope for economic recovery is quickly getting negated globally by a new problem, the supply chain disruption. We will examine some key reasons behind the supply chain disruption problem and how they affect the transportation sector. During the pandemic, as more businesses closed and more people lost their jobs, consumer spending went way low. With the consumer demand vaporized, the manufacturing units severely scaled down their operations and often reduced their workforce in order to survive. This started a chain reaction for the transportation sector, which, having less products to carry, also reduced its headcount. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, the total number of open jobs reduced by 4.1% and total number of people employed fell by 7.1% in 2020. But with the pandemic receding and the consumer spending going up again, the manufacturing center now finds itself having not enough people to produce the goods to meet the demand. This started the chain reaction again in the transportation sector, which is also being hit not just by the shortage of drivers and truckers, but also by the shortage of people who manage the back end of transportation, repair service, warehouse operators, and so on. Compounding the problem, we are also experiencing what is being called the Great Resignation, the new phenomena where a very large number of people are deciding to quit their current profession and seek growth elsewhere. Most economists agree that there is no magic bullet to mitigate the supply chain disruption immediately. The transportation sector needs to identify the deterrence to recruiting potential employees. Is it the lack of earning potential, the incompetitive benefits, the lack of career growth, or is it all of them? Measures must be taken to address these concerns. The world is slowly bouncing back from an abyss of two years that are lost to a global pandemic. With a well-thought-out blueprint, let us hope the transportation sector will bounce back too from the global supply chain crisis.